All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over how to set up goals in Google Analytics. Goals are used to track conversions like sales, leads, contacts, all sorts of things. Um, they're really used so you can kind of find your key, key performance indicators and optimize for them. Um, so it's really a best practice to set up any goals that are valuable for your business. Uh, some examples would include like a contact form. Um, Maybe if you have an e-commerce website, every time someone makes a sale, um, you can set up goals for every time someone adds something to a cart. Uh, or even when someone visits like key pages, maybe someone signs up for your newsletter. Uh, so goals are really used to track everything that's happening on your website. And then when you use your Google Analytics data as well, you can kind of see where everything's coming from so you know where to put your resources. Um, so to get started, what you're going to need is your website and Google Analytics installed on it. Um, pretty simple to get started no matter what kind of website you're running. Uh, if you're running a WordPress website, there's tons of plugins out there that will help you. If you're running a regular website, you just have to copy and paste the code into your website. Um, so once you have everything installed, uh, we're, we have our Google Analytics open here. And what you can see is we're on the admin page. So if you're over here to the left and you click on this gear icon, it'll bring up this page that'll say account, property, and view. And you'll see right here is goals. Um, so you could either click that or the other option you have is if you click conversions and goals over here and then click overview, uh, it'll bring you to the same page. So either or you want to click um, to get to that page, we're going to click over here. Um, so what it's going to say, we have no goals set up. Um, so it's going to say there's no data for this view. If you come over here, it's going to say this report requires goals to be enabled. So what you would do is, just, you know, either way, you just want to click set up goals and it'll bring you to that page from before. So now we're ready to set up goals. And what you can do here is there's import from gallery. If you have something here, there's different types of goals that you can import. These are things that people have already created. Um, so it's it's good if you're not sure what goal to use. Um, so, you know, traffic acquisition from social media, referral traffic, there's different things you can try to find that um, will help you. But what we're gonna do is click new goal here. So there's different types. So for example, if you own a hotel, you could have reservations, make a payment, make an appointment become a partner. There's all these different things under template, uh, depending on what it is that you're doing. Um, and they, they all, you know, it says select a template to start with a pre-filled configuration. Um, so what we can do here is I want to track anybody who comes into my page and fills out my contact form. What's going to happen is they're going to be redirected to the to a URL that says surfsideppc.com slash thank you. Um, so that's just my URL. You'll see it in a minute when I fill out the contact form. And what we're going to do here is, instead of clicking on any of the templates, I like to go down to custom. So all you have to do is click custom, continue. And now it's going to say, there's different goal IDs. You can set um, 20 goals here. And we're just going to keep it as our goal ID one. Usually your most important goal you put into goal ID one. So maybe it's sales, maybe it's something like that. And what we're going to do is name it exactly what it is. So contact form fills. So every time someone fills out our contact form, that's what our goal is going to be called. And here's basically how to do it. So it's going to say type down here and it's going to say destination, duration, pages, screens, procession. So I could say if someone's on my website for five minutes, count them as a conversion. If someone's, you know, visiting at least three pages, something like that, however you want to do it, then count them as a conversion. So you can do goals that just say, OK, these people are engaging my, with my website and then optimize for engagement, which isn't a bad idea at all. Uh, because the more time people spend on your website, the more likely they are to convert. Um, the other thing you could do here is event. So they have like played a video. Maybe someone does something on your website. You can track that. Uh, ours is going to be this destination, which is usually the most popular. Um, keep in mind, if you own a Shopify website or something like that, filling out goals is, si is similar, but they have their own ways to do it. So if you ever need to find that, just Google Shopify tutorial you know, set up conversion tracking in Google Analytics, and you'll be able to find exactly what you're looking for, um, because I've done that plenty of times, but I don't have a Shopify website here to show you the steps, but if you're looking for e-commerce or something like that, every single website will have their own, you know, help and training articles that will help you, but we're just going to destination here, thanks.html, click continue, um, and what you're going to do now is the destination equals to, so you want to enter your URL, but you don't want to use um, the full URL. You just want to use what page they're going to. So for me, it's set up as thank you. So that's it. Um, so I don't need to enter surfsideppc.com, just thank you. 
uh, value, you can say every single thing is worth $10 or whatever it is. Sometimes that's worth it if you're trying to figure out, you know, how profitable your advertising is. So if the average form fill leads to, you know, $100, then you can value it at $100. So something like that. So funnel, this is something that you can use too. You can say, uh, basically, if you're running a campaign, maybe you're sending a lot of traffic to certain pages, you can set up funnels so you can kind of see how your funnel is working. Um, so if you're trying to get someone from one page to your contact page to the next, you can see what percentage of people are going from one to the next. This is great for running tests, uh, but we're not going to do funnel right now. Um, what you can do is click verify this goal. So if you've had any hits on the thank you page in the past seven days, it'll say that it's working. Um, so we're saying 0% conversion rate. I don't know if I've even hit the page yet, but now we have it saved. I have it recording on. Past seven day conversions is zero. And what's going to happen here is when someone comes into my contact form, let's say they fill out their name. So I don't know. Just do Corey, Corey at gmail.com, Corey.com. Say whatever the budget is, and then PPC advertising. And once they click send here, they're going to be automatically, and you can see the URL at the top. So it's going to say this, and then they're going to go to the thank you page. Thank you for contacting us. We got your message. We will respond as soon as possible. And what should happen is when we come back up in here to go to Google Analytics, it should be able to monitor how many goals we have. So let's see, come into goals and overview here. Okay, so I had to cut the video short before. I want to show a couple of examples here for goal completion. So we just set up our contact form fills goal completion. Um, you're starting to see, we just set it up, so we're starting to see some data here. We have two hits on that page. So every time someone hits the thank you page, it's going to uh, count here for contact form fills. And what's cool is we can go down here and say, okay, here's our goal completion location is thank you. And if we go to source medium here, we could see where the traffic actually came from before they did it. So for one example, I went to bing.com, searched my website, you know, went through, contact, filled out the contact form. Another, another example, I went direct to my website. So you could actually see where your contact forms are coming from, and that's why this is so valuable. Uh, so that's why you want to, you know, monitor all your goals and conversions in Google Analytics. Uh, again, if you're using, if you're using things like Shopify, you're going to have e-commerce come down here and overview. We don't have e-commerce set up, but they have e-commerce tracking set up for you. Um, so any type of e-commerce provider using different things like that. If you have different types of goals, you can always adjust these. Um, I've ran accounts that have, you know, 10 different goals and you just optimize for each of them separately. You could also import them directly into uh, Google AdWords. Um, so that's a good example I can show you right now. Let me open AdWords. Okay, so once you open your Google AdWords account, it should look something like this. We're in the overview page um, and what you're going to do is click the three dots up here in the top corner and click on conversions. So it's going to say we don't have any entries yet. Um, if we click plus here, you can see there's some different types of conversions you can track. So you can set these up directly from Google AdWords. Otherwise, we're going to click import. We want to import Google Analytics goals. So we click Google Analytics here. There's some different things you can use like Salesforce, Firebase, um, other CRMs if you use a different CRM. Uh, so it's very helpful for like Salesforce and stuff. You have different sales or you're monitoring different contacts. Whatever you're doing, this is helpful. So click continue. It'll automatically pull up our goal here, contact form fills. And then we just want to click import and continue. So now we've imported one goal from Google Analytics. So now we're allowed to use this. It'll automatically look up these conversions in here. And then when we set up campaigns, we can optimize for those different conversion actions. So pretty cool, uh, pretty cool thing you can do. So that's why you want to set up Google Analytics goals, put them into AdWords so you could actually optimize for them. So thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, make sure you subscribe to our channel and uh, leave them in the comments.